Hi there, my name's Sharifa. I like wigs, I'm a little bit weird, and I'm participating in Book Riot's 2016 Read Harder Challenge. So the first book I want to tell you about is Zen Cho's Sorcerer to the Crown. Zen Cho is a Malaysian-born, England-residing author, and this is her debut novel, I believe, the first in a series. Zacharias has come into a role as the Sorcerer Royal. He comes into his role as Sorcerer Royal around all of the speculation about what happened to his predecessor, who happens to be his adoptive father. And part of the reason there's a lot of speculation and there are rumors and ugly gossip is because Zacharias is an emancipated slave. So he's a black guy who's Sorcerer Royal in Victorian England. So you can imagine. So there's a problem with magic in England. There is a deficit. Where is it gone? Who's taken it? How can we get it back? Zacharias has to figure out the answers to all of these questions while the Society of Sorcerers is breathing down his neck and slinging allegations at him. While he's trying to figure out this huge problem with magic in England, he visits a girls' school where the girls are being trained to repress their magic. Girls are not allowed to practice magic. It's not what you need to assimilate and integrate with society. How is it gonna get you a husband? At this girls' school, Zacharias meets my favorite character, Prunella Gentleman. Prunella is a very fly by the seat of your pants, tactical, and even manipulative character. But considering the position she's in, she also comes from a multicultural background. She is a dark-skinned woman. She basically has to use everything in her power to make a path for herself. She is a woman of serious ambition. Zacharias and Prunella end up teaming up, and there's a lot of calamity that happens as they try to figure out what's happening with England's magic, but all of the calamities are hugely entertaining. So that was Zen Cho's Sorcerer to the Crown. The next book I'm going to talk about is Tan Tuan Eng's The Gift of Rain. The first thing that struck me about this book is how beautifully it's written. It's very descriptive. The prose is, I wouldn't call it flowery because I always get the sense that when people say flowery, they mean that there's a lot of unnecessary language, but I felt like it was all necessary and the pacing was really good. More than being a book or maybe even equal to being a book about Southeast Asia and World War II and Malaysia, um, this is a book about the loneliness and sort of the isolation of having mixed heritage. All the characters half Chinese, half English, but all of his siblings are English. Uh, his father basically remarried and had him. He was the youngest son. Growing up, Philip feels very alone in the things that he deals with at school. He doesn't make a lot of friends and then he befriends this Japanese diplomat who rents out the family-owned island. They're a rich family. And it's sort of like his first real friendship, a person he respects. He just ends up having this amazing bond. When World War II breaks out, Philip ends up being torn between his family and this really deep and powerful friendship. Like Zen Cho, Tan Tuan Eng was born in Malaysia and then he actually worked at a law firm and I guess he just wrote a book and it was long listed for the Man Booker Prize, so there you go. The last book I want to talk about for the Southeast Asian author task of the Read Harder Challenge is Sarong Party Girl by Cheryl Lulian Tan. And this one is actually, it sort of hits close to home. The first time I experienced like young club culture in Singapore was when I was a teenager and I was taken out by some relatives who will not be named. Those people party. In Sarong Party Girls, this character Jazzy is a 20-something. She's in her late 20s. She's looking for a white husband to climb up the social ladder, I guess. I haven't finished reading this book, but I'm really enjoying the Singlish and getting to know the characters. If you're looking for a Southeast Asian author in July, that's when the book is released, so you can check it out. So that's actually it for me and the Southeast Asian author read harder challenge task. 
But I look forward to coming back with another task. Until then, I'll see you.